This video covers the FARS grades. Now these are a basic set of skills which are great for anyone to drill when they're first learning to skate. Grade one is a really nice, easy start. You skate forward across the rink without falling over. So any technique you wanna use, you can use bubbles, you could use marching. As long as you stay vertical, that's a great big tick. Stop without falling using the barrier or wall. So a plow stop is a good option or a T stop. Whichever way of stopping you feel comfortable with. Skate forward, glide on two feet and touch your toes. You can always touch your knees if you prefer. This is a great exercise to test your balance. Forward snake pattern ensuring equal use of both feet. Now lots of people know a snake pattern as a bubble and I have an entire video on that to help you. Grade two is a bit of a jump with one foot balancing and skating backwards. Skate forward on alternate feet, stroking from the side of the foot. So the word stroking in there is telling us this is stroke skating. So it needs to come back together before you swap to the next foot. <sighs> Commence on alternate feet, skate in a straight line from a T position, balancing on the skating foot for a minimum of three seconds from the foot extended. <sighs> Basically, it's balancing on one foot for three seconds. For this move, you need to gain momentum because you need to be able to hold that push for three seconds. So to do this, you need to use the T push. So to do that, you have to push from these two inside wheels here, and that will give you lots of momentum. So once you've got your T push, a nice big push and a count of three. Now my coach always used to be really mean and go one, one thousand, two, one thousand. <laughs> but you can count to three as quickly as you like. <laughs> one, two, three. Skate forward on alternate feet, then glide on two feet into a sitting position, hips level with knees. Essentially, this is a shoot the duck. They're a little bit mean and they make you get your hips lower than your knees. Push backwards from the wall barrier and perform a backwards snake pattern, bubble, ensuring equal use of both feet. Now, backwards can be quite tricky and I have got a basics backwards video which will really, really help with this. Grade three starts to deal with edges and one foot backwards. Push backwards from the wall barrier and balance on alternated feet for a minimum of three seconds on each foot. In order to get the three second balance on each foot, you need to get a push backwards. Now to get the push backwards, you push from the instep the same as you do forwards, but the foot goes to the front. So, the first one we get the barrier to help us. So here, and then when I swap feet, I'm gonna push with this one. Push forward from a T position on an outside edge with the free leg extended behind on the right foot on the left foot. So we're back to our T push. And again, you need to get a lot of momentum from these inside wheels here to push you onto an outside edge arc. And the outside edge on a roller skate is when you lean on the little toe. So I'm gonna make a C shape. And then you've got to do it on the other foot. The same principle on the little toe, push from the two inside wheels on the right foot and make a C shape. Push forwards from a T position on an inside edge with the free leg extended behind on the right foot on the left foot. This is exactly the same principle as the outside edges, but this time you're gonna lean on the big toe to get an inside edge. If you're having a lot of trouble getting these edges, it might be that your trucks need loosening. If your trucks are really, really loose and you're still not getting any movement, you might need a softer cushion. So when you do an inside edge, you want opposite arm to leg in front, so you've got something to lean on, and we're gonna make a C shape. And then we're going to do the other foot. These are definitely tricky and they're not easy. And I do have an entire video on edges that will really, really help. Push 
perform a jump on two feet while stationary while skating forwards. The two foot jump stationary, the hardest thing is to stop the roll. And to do this, you need to be right over the ball of your foot. Now you have two options with this. Now in artistic skating, we would generally jump with the two feet together, like that. But you can also, if you prefer, to do it in the staggered stance like that. When you do this moving, you need to be careful to lift your toes. Otherwise, you're going to leave them behind and you can trip yourself up. So be aware that you're also bringing your toes up as you jump. And again, you can use the stagger if you want. A little tip with this one, if you're doing the feet together, is when you land, think about squeezing your knees together. And that helps to stop the wheel's getting out of control. Some of the skills in this video are actually quite complex. So what I shall do is put a playlist together of all the individual videos which cover the skills in more depth. Now I hope you've had lots of fun with these first three grades and the next video will be grades four, five and six. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey and I'll see you next time. Bye.